Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the topic primary key constraint. The primary key constraint simply is a unique identifier for a row in a table that ensures that no two records in the table have the same value. If there is any violation between the constraint and data action, the action is aborted. A few examples are employee ID, student ID, order ID, and any criteria that can be used to categorize primary key in a table. I'm going to be walking you through a few practicals using SQL. So for this, we're going to be imagining a scenario where we run a company and offer several varieties of products. So with this, we're going to be creating a database where we'll be housing our records, our table, and columns, and a few other things. Now, we create a database and we're going to be naming this database, let's use um, Lark Company. Good. So we use a lot of companies to identify our database where we're going to house it. So a lot of company, and then we go ahead and save. Now we're going to be opening the query tool on this database we have just created. So now let's go ahead and create our table. For this, we're going to be using the syntax create table. We're going to be using the syntax create table. And the name of our table is going to be product. So create table product. Now under this table, we're going to be having a few columns. So for the first column, we're going to use product id product id now this product id is going to be our primary key so product id and then we're going to be adding the data type which is integer good now after that we're going to be creating another column under this table now this column name is going to be product name product name yes and the data type under this product name is going to be vatcher we're going to use vatcher to as a data type of this column name now we're going to have another column so we're going to be working with just two three columns just for this example so on the third column we're going to give it shipping mode we're going to use shipping mode for our third column header and also the data type is vacha good so with this we have created a table product with three column headers that are going to be housing our values all right so now let's apply our constraint so we're going to use the statement constraint constraint pk that's primary key and then we are going to be referencing our table name which is product so let's copy and paste that product yeah, so we have constraints primary key product good then we're going to have our primary key primary key and don't forget i told us before that our primary key is going to be our product id so we're going to go over there copy it and paste it so we have the same exact format primary key is our product id good now go over cross check our syntax and ensure that we don't have any errors check if commas are placed right and if everything is in order now once that is done we're going to highlight everything that we have written down and then execute now our query has been returned successfully now after this we are going to view this table with the column headers that we have created and for this we're going to be using the statement select all from product don't forget product is our table name select all from product now once we're done with that we highlight and we execute amazing so now we have our column headers that we have just created now we're also going to go ahead and insert a few values into this column headers to explain better what this primary key is all about now with that we're going to be using the statement insert into insert into so we're inserting into our table and our table is product insert into product values insert into product value so we're going to be coming up with a few demo values that we're going to insert into our columns so the first one don't forget it's an integer which is our product id then we have our product name we we'll use bag and then a shipping mode let's use first class for this first class for this shipping mode so we're going to place this into two or three so we can have you know three rows with um values yes so we're going to repeat the same thing product id product name now the product name and the shipping mode is going to be in it's going to be in quotation why because it's a text so we're going to put it in quotation because it's a text yeah so we use a second class for this then we also have a third row a third row product id then product name in quotation product name in quotation and also we're going to have let's use first class for our shipping mode here first class for our shipping mode also in quotation so once we're done with this we're going to go over and check if all of our syntax is correct and it is so while that is done we're going to highlight and execute so we can have our values inserted into the rows we highlight and execute 
Good. Our query has been returned successfully. So in order to view these values, we're going to select all from product and execute so that we can see what we have done. Amazing. So we have our values, which we have inserted, populated in our table. So now we're going to go ahead and test our primary key constraints, which we have applied to the table. So with this, we are going to try and replace the value we have on one field with the same value we have on another field. So with this, we are going to be using the statement update product. Update product. Don't forget product is our table name. Update product. Now set product ID. Set product ID. So we are going to replace a field with the same value we have in another field. So set product ID 355. Five. Set product ID 355. Five. Product ID is our primary key. Don't forget. So now where we're going to use the where statement. Set product ID 355. Five. Where product ID is equals to 810. So what we're trying to do basically is anywhere we have 810 in our table, we'll replace it with 355. That is already on that table. So while we're doing this, we're going to see if our primary key constraint works. So now we're going to highlight this and execute and see if the query is aborted. Good. So we highlight this and execute. Now, this is amazing. So this tells us that our primary key constraint works because the action was aborted immediately and it's trying to tell us here that duplicate key value valid unique constraints now this simply says that the product id 355 already exists in another field and so therefore we cannot change 810 to 355 because it violates the primary key constraint which was placed on the table amazing now would you like to try this try it and see if you'll be able to achieve the same successful results thank you